Yeah, buddy, Strider knives. So back in the day, Strider was real big for me. Actually, it's what got me into custom knives. I went to Plaza Cutlery out in California and seen my first one. I was like, God damn, 550 bucks at SMF. I said, what the hell is this? You know, picked it up. Actually, it was 475 because they had the Lego one. And then a couple weeks later, I went back and I got the $550 one, which was the concealed carry model. And I ended up buying two of them. No shit. I bought two of them. I bought a green one and a brown one. And I had a little bit of lock rock. You know, everybody used to bitch about Strider lock rock. So I had a little bit in one of those. And I was like, eh, let me get rid of it. And then I ended up trading the other one off shortly after that. Got a freaking Hinder XM18 3.5 anyway long story but i got out of strider knives i got back into them a couple years later and i actually owned one just like this and i also had the karambit hs badass freaking karambit i don't know why i got rid of that still to this day uh they're they're definitely going for a higher price than what i paid for it, it was about 350 at the time and it was double-edged badass karambit man anyway so i owned one just like this and i got rid of it like I always do, dumbass, man. I get rid of things and then I and then I want them when they're gone. So they discontinue this, you know. You haven't seen it for a long ass time. This this is the VB, VB fixed blade, by the way. So they came out with a short run through GP knives, Blade HQ, and Monkey Edge, I believe, was the three that really had them. And that's when I got mine. Then, for years, I didn't, I kind of gave it up, you know, didn't want to get into fixed blades anymore, started getting more and more into folding knives and butterfly knives, so I got rid of them, got rid of this one as well. Anyway, years later, I'm like, man, dude, I, I remember some of those Strider knives I had. I watched one of these things pop up, and it was at like 950 bucks. Originally, they sold for like 375 so when I seen it for like 950 I was like, holy shit, there is no way... I'm gonna spend that kind of money, you know, on a on a Strider that once went for 375, especially a fixed blade. So I was over at Castlegate Knives in Colorado one day, and somebody had brought this in on a trade to a friend of mine that worked there. And after that trade went through, I was like, oh hell yeah, dude! He showed it to me, and I was like, dude, what do you want for that? So I ended up doing a trade, which obviously wasn't adding up to 950 bucks in value. I think it was only about 550 or something like that so i basically gave him a knife paid you know i bought that knife so it was 550 bucks actually and i gave him that one in trade for this so here it is i'm happy to have it again i've had this for i don't know five months already something like that this is the big ass version so quarter inch thick s30v steel got the serrations at the top I actually bought uh, burgundy handles from Monkey Edge for it, which is the frag grip. I recently took them off just because. I, I don't know why, to be honest with you. I took them off, and I still got them in the bag, so I'll be flip-flopping it every once in a while. It's not a knife that I actually carry, but I will be. And the reason I say I will be is because this sheath fucking sucks. I am not a big fan of this kind of sheath. I'm getting something where I can stuff that big bastard in my waistband. So, might go with a Kydex, might go with a leather. Haven't really figured it out yet, but I really like this company here. And I'm going to see what they can do for a fixed blade. This company is called Gromit's Leatherworks, or Leathercraft, I mean. So, I got this made for a Bally song. And I'm going to see what they can do for this right here. See what kind of price it's going to be and all that kind of stuff. With a metal clip to plug it straight into my waistband. Awesome knife. It is heavy. It is very, very sharp. But that Tonto tip is... Oh, shit, man. That is... It is sharp. It's pointy. And it's ridiculously strong. So that's one of the reasons that I would like to carry something like that for a concealed carry knife. It's a fixed blade. It's not a huge fixed blade. I believe that is a four and a half or a five and a half inch blade. But the actual cutting edge, I think, is like more like four and a half. So definitely, it is a small knife. It's not big. It is just very, very thick. 
but the dbs are getting very very scarce and i've seen those things up for about 650 bucks as well and they used to be 300 dollars for the quarter inch monkey edge frag grip one so definitely don't want to pay that kind of money for a fixed blade i don't think i've ever paid over 350 bucks on it, you know, actually I did because this was originally 375 so let's just say I never paid over 400 for a fixed blade so I don't think I ever did I wasn't into fixed blades that deep you know matter of fact I think the strider was the most expensive one I had because I never bought damn I just caught myself bullshitting again so I actually owned a freaking v14 dagger from spartan blades i forgot all about that one how the hell could you forget about that beautiful piece probably because i haven't had one for a while but i actually paid i think that one was 445 yeah so definitely a little bit more than what this was so yes we might as well push that price up a little bit more and see what else pops up in my fucking head no i think that was honestly the most expensive fixed blade that i've ever bought was that dagger forgot all about that shit anyway this is a piece that's a little collectible at this point but definitely a much higher price than what it really what it went for you know back in the 2000s mid 2000s i should say or 2001 to about 2008 somewhere around there so definitely a nice piece if you guys don't have one of these i'm sorry because you're not getting mine and I am going to hang on to this thing because, like I said, this thing could be a badass freaking in the waistband carry knife. The end of the world comes, man. You know you're pulling through it. I hope the heat treat's done on it right. That's what I could hope for at that point because this will get some freaking hard ass use out of it. You know, a lot of people like me, we carry stuff like this daily. Hell, I carry belly. I've carried illegal knives for, fuck, 20 years. You know, over 20 years. And it's not that we carry them to use, you know, and I don't, I'll be honest with you. I mean, it's, I don't even carry it really for self-defense. The only time I would actually pull something like that out in a self-defense situation is if you got me in a corner like Rodney Dangerfield, you know, you're busting my head with a brick and there's four or five people standing above me. At that point, somebody's fucking dying. No shit. Somebody's dying because uh, that's... I'm not going to get fucking brain damage from a bunch of people slamming me with bricks and shit. Or if it's if it's somebody out in the Walmart parking lot fighting me for a piece of shit two-year-old DVD player on Black Friday, you know. Go fuck yourselves, you know. that That's a self-defense situation. But I've seen people in the past pull stuff like this out of their pants just because somebody starts talking shit to them in a parking lot. You know, that's 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 not me. That's fucking pussy shit right there, so... Don't get me wrong. I carry stuff like this, yes. But you, if you approached me singly or even with two people, there is a 90% chance that you would never see this thing come out of my waist. You wouldn't even know I had it. You know, that's, that's me carrying knives. I don't know about all you guys out there, but that's me. And I just like to carry them to carry them. Because there's some people that aren't into custom knives and they'll they'll bring their knife to me and... Hey, what do you think of this? Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, fuck, let me whip this out. And then, what do you think of this? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not because I just want to look like I've, that I'm better than them by any means. But I just want to show them a American-made product that, that carries a lot of weight, if you ask me. I mean, the name alone. A lot of people don't, a lot of people never hear about it because they're not into custom knives. But when I pull some of this stuff out, they're like, Jesus Christ, dude, you pay a lot of money for knives, but fuck, they're nice, I mean, everybody's got something that they collect, and they spend a lot of money on some people's cars, some people's motorcycles, bicycles, rings, jewelry, watches, you know what I mean, it's, everybody's got something that they spend money on, some people just sit in their house like fucking hermits and never do anything their whole life, or they just don't get into spending money on that, but me, that's what I do, I carry them, and like I said, it's not to freaking just jerk it out of my pocket at the first threat somebody gives me and say, hey, y'all, go fuck you, motherfucker, I'll stick you. Yeah, that's not me. 
It's definitely the wrong idea behind self-defense tools, people. So just be careful when you carry your stuff. Don't be one of those guys because either it's going to get you killed, it's going to get you locked up, or something, obviously something negative is going to happen to you. It's going to get you in a worse off situation than what you were in with just talking shit. But anyway, that's all I got to say about that. And I'm out. Hope you enjoyed. All right, peace.